Hello, beautiful people. How are you? I hope you're doing amazing when you tune into this. Um, my name is Colleen Gallagher. If you have not seen me or heard of me before, welcome to the internet space <laughs> that I created. And when you're watching, say hello. Uh, let me know where you tune in from. And if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. So I know I always love knowing who's watching and who's connecting because I believe this is such a uh, platform, all of social media for connectivity. And if I don't know who you are, if you're watching, then I can't connect with you. <laughs> so uh, make sure you say hello, let me know. And one of my deepest passions in life is guiding people to understand why it is they're here and create a life that's absolutely incredible around it. And what I'm doing in the month of October for 2020 is I'm doing 31 days live because I have the launch of my third book, An Uncompromised Life. Uh, where I compromise my character, my desires and needs in a relationship to receive love. And I go over how many women and men we do this. Many times we compromise what we really want for uh, something less because we think that that's the only option. It's scarcity. It's like we're not sure what's going to happen. And so anyway, what I wanted to share with you with this is today is day 10 out of it. And when you watch this anytime, please share it because when you share it, you get entered into win um, a prize at the end of the month. I'm drawing three names. And so when we draw those three names, each person gets a signed copy of an uncompromised life. My third book, a signed copy of live your truth. My first book, um, excuse me, um, my Oracle cards that are on Amazon. And then you also, the first person we pick gets, gets two one-on-one -on -one calls with me. And then the second and third person gets one one-on-one -on -call, one, one -on -one call with me. It's usually valued at like $1,000. So um, you get it totally for free. If you just share this, you get entered to win. So today though, what we're talking about is really, really important with compromising our character or ways that I broke my heart or ways each of us broke our, break our hearts is understanding when we're carrying unconscious beliefs. So what I mean by unconscious beliefs is that we each have had things happen to us in our life. Like each of us have gone through pain. Each of us have gone through trauma. Each of us have had um, things that we've had to move through in our life. But many times we didn't necessarily move through it. So like if we were bullied when we were in high school or we went through like a near-death experience when we were younger or we... Um, had cancer, like whatever that it was, we have these experiences that happen to us. And a lot of times we just carry them in our mind or in our heart without even realizing that they're part of us. So for me, a belief that happened was that I was at a hospital and I saw a dad yell at a mom. And what he said is he said, the only reason we cannot pay for our daughter's treatment, it still makes me emotional, is because you're a stay at home mom. And so I didn't know this at a very young age, the belief in me that instilled was that you needed money to have love and money to not die. And so I went on to live my life to be in corporate to like, my goal was to make the most amount of money and like as fast as possible and always have enough money so that I would always be able to have love and always make sure that I wouldn't be able to die. And this is just one example, but many of us carry beliefs like this. Like there's so many beliefs that we carry in our subconscious mind from memories that have happened to us that we literally do not realize are there. And so I went on into a corporate job and I was in a relationship and I remember I closed my largest sales deal at the time and I like called my partner to tell him I was so excited about closing this deal and there was just like nothing, zero, like no emotion. And so this belief in my mind that I didn't even know was running, that I was, I was making more money, my relationship should work, wasn't happening. And so when we have beliefs a lot of times in our lives and we believe uh, we want a relationship to work or we believe that we're um, entitled to something or believe that we want something in our life and it doesn't happen, our system kind of breaks. Like our nervous system, our mind, like we kind of don't know how to function. Like we, we go into this mental chaotic state. And so what happened for me is I like came home and I crashed on the couch. Like it was this blue couch in Baltimore, Maryland. I live in Federal Hill. Like I will never forget it. And I was just bawling. Like I can still bring myself to that moment of just like complete tears because everything that I thought to be true about love, like the thing I wanted most in the world was turning out to be false. And so this was like one of the most heartbreaking things in my life. 
Um, but how I turned it into a really beautiful love story in my life is that that was the moment, the initiation into my life when I got the download to Google visas to understand that I could absolutely live international without a corporation or without, um, higher education. And so that was the first time in my life, like I literally like Googled visas and I saw it and I was like, Oh my God, there's a $20 visa to New Zealand. And I did it and I went for it and I created it. And with that, I started yoga and meditation four hours a day. Four hours a day, everyone. Like I literally moved to New Zealand with the intention. This is really important. I feel like this is how you like understand that these beliefs are in us. I moved to New Zealand with the intention that I was going to figure out my life. I was going to be like, you know what? I'm doing this. I'm committing to myself. I'm like fucking figuring it out. And I literally would be so disciplined every day. It was like two hours of yoga, two hours of meditation. Like no negotiable, zero negotiable. Like wasn't allowed. And I started to realize that, that was the moment when the story happened of when this dad yelled at the mom. Like I physically saw it like a vision out of my, it was almost like a TV screen was in front of me. And I saw the vision of like when this happened and I forgot about it to this point. Like I didn't even remember it happened. It was like when I was 15 or something, like I could not have remembered it would happen, but I saw it. And then I was like, holy shit. And I was like, I've been carrying that for at that time would have been 23. So like almost 10 years of my life, I've been carrying that belief a belief that I had to have love, to have love, you had to have money. And so I was like working and working and working and working myself, like missing the point of that love is nothing to do with money. Love is truly this energy of divine union within yourself. And I was missing the point and 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 missing the point. And, the point. and until I actually committed to this work of realizing we all have these beliefs, these unconscious things that are running in our mind, until I really did like the journey within, like to be like, holy shit, you've got to look within and what are these stories that are going that we don't even know? It's almost like the sky is blue and we don't even have to think about the sky being blue. We just know that it is. And when the sky is blue like that, um, when that's happening, we have stories in our head running like that. Like there's stories in our head of like, I don't believe this is possible for me. I don't believe it's possible to travel the world full time. I don't believe it's possible to make my own business. I don't believe that I'm enough. I don't know if the relationship with my dreams can come true. I need to have this in order to have this. Like all these things come up to the forefront. And so what I want to share with you is that the way that turn that into a love story is be committed to the work. Be committed to living an uncompromised life. Be committed to, to being who it is you truly desire to be. And um, it's just been an amazing journey in my life. That was two and a half years ago when I realized that of what's happened in my life since two and a half years ago. And so... Um, when you're listening to this and you're someone who wants to work on your unconscious beliefs of what the fuck is going on in your mind that you don't even know is aware of a base minimum and a good way to tell what's going on in your mind as a base minimum is how do you feel about yourself? What are the relationships you have and what's actually going on around you? And when you do that, you're going to find probably some answers. You don't, don't, you're going to have some hard truths that you got to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, holy shit, what's happening. And when that happens, I highly recommend that you pre-order my book, An Uncompromised Life. We're still in pre-order, so you get it because I go through exactly how to overcome these types of things. Two, um, we have a free community, so I highly suggest that you get involved and join it. Just message me community. So message me Uncompromised to pre-order the book, community, get in the free community. And the third thing that I highly, 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 highly suggest, if you're like wanting, if you're ready, if you're like, holy shit, I really want to step up my life. I really want to change my life. Colleen, I want to know what these base minimum beliefs are that are going on in my mind, message me. I have a special just for October to understand what programs are running in your mind to get you out of your head, into your heart, into this manifestation spiritual place that allows you to tap into this kind of world of magic, this world of imagination, this world of dreams that really empowers you to live an absolute uncompromised life to your soul. So anyway, I'm so grateful that you've been on here. Um, tomorrow will be day 11. Make sure that you share the video. If you're watching this, you get entered into WIM. Message me on Compromise for the book, community for the free community. Um, and to get calls with me, just message me calls, consultations, and I'll send you the link. So just want you to know when you're watching this, I always look super close, that you are so close to your heartbreak being done. You're so close to your unconscious beliefs being healed. You are so close to changing your life, and you are absolutely deserving and worthy to fall in love with life just by being you. I love you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful day.